Hey everyone, I wanted to show you all uh, how to use the Adobe Creative Cloud and uh, whoops, let's get that out of the way. Um, I posted a video here in Blackboard that Adobe created, but there were some specific things that I wanted to show you. Okay, so first of all, how to get to Adobe Creative Cloud. On my machine, and uh, just so you know, I'm using a Mac, and uh, on this machine, I have two ways to get to it. One, right up here, the Creative Cloud icon at the very top of my screen, and I hope you can see it. And on the left, Creative Cloud, or I can go to my Finder, Applications, this is the long way, but if you don't have a shortcut installed yet, this is how you would get there. Adobe Creative Cloud and Creative Cloud. Okay, so um, it kind of picks up where you left off. So this was the last screen I was on. Uh, but I'm going to come over here because uh, to apps and because uh, I just I wanted to start here. So this tells me a lot of things. Number one, it uh, tells me what programs I need to update. So right here, Premiere Pro update available. So I could click here on open and uh, it would start updating Premiere Pro. I'm not going to do that right now because um, I'm busy recording something. Uh, but a couple other handy things. If you'll uh, hover your mouse next to this, uh, we could go watch Adobe Live to see what kind of uh, information is out there. Um, Adobe does do live uh, tutorials and things like that. The support community, you can type in a question and if you have something specific to Premiere Pro, uh, you can ask a question and there are always really helpful people out there. Uh, plugins, a plugin to Premiere Pro. So like if you wanted to do some sort of an animation plugin or something like that, you can find cool plugins specific to Premiere Pro on there. Templates, those are available there on Premiere. Um, and I, I honestly don't play with those enough because I don't edit video enough and I wish I did, but there could be some really cool templates there and then tutorials for Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, so that's about all I'm going to show you uh, there here on this main screen. Uh, but over here on the left, uh, updates, I have 11 updates. The thing is like, I need to update Illustrator. I use Illustrator like once a year, and that's basically to look at a document that perhaps Dr. Gibson sent me. Um, so I, I update as needed. Um, I could click over here on photo. And so now I can, these are all the apps available for photography, still photography, graphic design. These are all my apps available. Video, here are all my apps available and so on and so on handy resource Adobe stock. Adobe stock is awesome. Y'all it's going to open up a web browser. And with that, you can type in something. So, um, let's just say that I'm going to do, uh, something about a, uh, uh, feedlot. And here we go. And some of these are great images that are available. Um, some of them are expensive. So know that, uh, you know, but if you needed, you know, let's just say you needed an aerial shot of black and white cattle in a feedlot, boom, there you have one. Or you needed a Hereford calf uh, on grass, there you go. Um, so now sometimes they've, they've got, looks like they've got some dairy cattle mixed in with some feedlot. Uh, but like if you needed an image, um, start with Adobe stock and know that if you purchase it, you know that you're going to have a licensed asset that you can use. Um, again, we have tutorials, a link to Adobe portfolio. Um, that's something that I don't get into in this class, but if you are looking for jobs, Adobe has a portfolio program. It comes with the creative cloud. So I would recommend that you explore that a little bit more, um, to put together some things that you can put together a portfolio website to show off your work in a job interview. Okay. Now the real, I think meat and potatoes of Adobe creative cloud, you have cloud storage. Now as a Texas tech student, you have access to cloud storage through Microsoft OneDrive. But if you're paying for a subscription to Adobe creative cloud, this goes with you when you leave Texas tech, when you leave Texas tech, your OneDrive files stay here. Keep that in mind. So if you have a lot of stuff stored in OneDrive, it does not go with you. Okay. Um, something that I like, I'm going to come over here. So my mouse is over here on the right. One, two, three down this little box with the arrow, your work links. You can come here and then open this and it will, uh, take you to your work stored online. 
And then from here, like editing exercises, and this is actually probably what I'm going to use for the extra credit assignment. Click on the three dots, click share, and I can get a link. And then I will be posting this link so that you all have those assets to get to. So a uh, really quick, handy way to share with people. Um, I can rename it. I can move it, copy it, delete it. All that management is available when you open this up in the web browser. Um, other thing that I wanted to show you on this one. Um, yeah, you can go back to your Creative Cloud libraries, things that you have published, people that have shared. So this little air, this little icon right here can get you to a lot of places. Okay, I'm gonna hit this right here. And that opens up some other links. These are libraries that were shared with me. So like uh, the Agriculturist, which is our magazine, Dr. Kennedy created this folder and shared it with me. So I have the graphics for the Agriculturist. We don't have anything in here. Our colors, there we go. Black, background gray, Texas Tech red. Typography, the fonts that we're going to use. These are the, the fonts that she says we can use in the magazine for different things. Um, yeah, so that's all right there. So those are handy. My library, I just have a song in here. So uh, I, if I edited more, I would use this a lot more. Um, do you have to use Adobe Creative Cloud for storage? No, you do not. I'm just showing it to you in case you want to so that you know that you have cloud storage available to you. Um, oh, one other thing. I could come over here, click this little plus button, and I can, I think, there we go, and I can add uh, something to my folder if I want to. So I'm not going to though. Um, discover, up at the top, this tab, discover. This is cool. Um, this has new, um, yeah, the Photoshop Daily Creative Challenge, how to make hybrid animals. Um, Photoshop basics. I there's something new here every day. So this is just inspiration. Um, so this is kind of cool. Um, if, uh, sometimes when I'm on a conference call and I'm not entertained, I will come over here and click on discover and, uh, t take a look at some of these. There, there's some really neat things on here and I can get it specific to Premiere Pro and things like that. So, um, yeah. So the next time you're on a zoom meeting and you're not fully engaged in it, this might be a productive use of your time. And then finally marketplace and oh my goodness, there's so much stuff here. So plugins that you can purchase and oh my gosh, y'all, there's so many here. I, I don't know what a lot of these do. Some of them are free, some of them 40 bucks, but you know, if you needed to retouch something that 40 bucks for a retouch ninja might be well worth your money. Um, the libraries pulling in different colors, new Adobe colors, color palettes. Um, there's all sorts of cool stuff on here that you can purchase web gradients. Um, I like this one, a brush pack, something like that. That's kind of cool. Um, so cool stuff available through the libraries under the marketplace tab. Um, and then again, there's a shortcut to Adobe stock. So there's a, there's one thing about Adobe is that it usually provides several ways to get to one certain, uh, feature or function. Um, but again, you don't have to use this. You don't have to use it for your class, but I wanted to show it to you in the way that I use it. And again, I use Microsoft OneDrive a lot more than I use Creative Cloud, but I do have it available and I use it sometimes. And uh, it has proved to be very handy, especially when sharing files back and forth with students. And uh, so I would encourage you to just play around with it. And uh, in that, that's how I learned how to, how to use it. But I did share a tutorial that Adobe created so that you can see somebody else explain it in a different way. And you might find that to be more helpful than the way I'm explaining it. So Adobe Creative Cloud, Enjoy.